this question is about Nagel's algorithm. So I told you that whenever TCP gets some data from the application layer, what it tries to do is it will try to fill up one uh, maximum segment size, one MSS. So why does it try to do uh, fill up that one MSS is so that it can send more, I mean lot of data just for a overhead of one header. So if you send a lot of data in one segment, we are effectively reducing the number of headers that have to be transmitted. If you send only small small data in a TCP segment, what happens is for every uh, small amount of data, we are supposed to add a header, which is a overhead. Therefore, uh, what TCP will try to do is it will wait until it fill up one maximum segment size and then for that entire data, it will send out one header and uh, one header plus the data. That is how efficiency can be improved by TCP. But then sometimes what happens is the sender will be very slow. Whenever uh, a sender is producing the data, the application, that will be very slow. Then in that case, TCP cannot wait for one segment. One segment is going to take a lot of time to collect data of uh, 1 KB or 1 GB or 1 MB for one segment size. It is going to be, uh, you know, taking a lot of time. It will take forever. Then what does this Nagel's algorithm say is uh, TCP should not wait for more than one round trip time. So Nagel's algorithm says that TCP should wait for one round trip time and in this round trip time how many ever uh, bytes it could accumulate it could send all of them in one segment that is what Nagel's algorithm say. So wait for one round trip time collect all the data you could get from the application layer and put all the data in one segment and send it. Sometimes uh, before this in within this one round trip time your segment might get full. So in case within this round trip time if you get a full segment send it. If you don't get a full segment wait for uh, one round trip time and in this round trip time how much ever data you get you send it. Therefore Nagel's algorithm works like this wait for one round trip time within this round trip time if you can collect a full segment send it immediately without waiting for one round trip time. In case if you are not able to collect one full segment within one round trip time then send how many ever bytes you can collect in that round trip time. That is how Nagel's algorithm work. So let us see this question now. A fast typist which means someone is typing the characters can do 100 words a minute. Every minute they are you know a, a typist can type 100 words and every word contains 6 characters on average. So the uh, number of words that are produced is 100 in one minute and on average a word will have six characters which is nothing but in one minute we can send uh, how many characters 600 characters in one minute the typewriter the typer can produce uh, 600 characters demonstrate Nagel's algorithm by showing the sequence of TCP segments exchanged which means they are asking if this is the case what does the Nagel's algorithm do uh, with uh, I input from the typer which means if typer is going to give the input to the uh, Nagel's algorithm how does the TCP behave which means what is the size of the segments that will be transmitted in case if this type typer is going to give the data to the TCP. What does Nagel's algorithm do? It will find out the round trip time and then it will see how many bytes or characters it can collect in that much time. So see this one answer. Now the first question is the round trip time is given as 20 milliseconds. So for A round trip time is 20 milliseconds. So I am just finding out in 20 milliseconds how many characters can the uh, typewriter give, can the typer give. See this. 100, 100 words are sent per 1 minute which means 100 into 6 characters are sent in 60 seconds. Therefore what is the rate at which we are getting the data 10 characters per second that is what we are getting 10 characters per second. If this is the rate at which we are getting the data and if the round trip time is 20 milliseconds I just want to know in 20 milliseconds how much data would have been produced. Then I found out that in 20 milliseconds I got 0.2 characters. What does it mean? 0.2 characters means nothing, isn't it? So in one in 20 milliseconds we are not getting anything, not even one character. Then what should we do? We should wait for. We don't have any other choice. So we should wait for at least one character to come down. And after one character comes down, we have to send it. Yes, obviously efficiency is less. But then what could we do? It is very slow, and we cannot wait forever. So 
we are not even getting one character therefore what how does the algorithm behave is it will wait for one character and once it gets one character it will send that one character in one segment so uh, you understood the algorithm clearly Nagel's algorithm says that wait for one round trip time yes I waited for one round trip time which is 20 milliseconds in this second I didn't even get one character also then what should I do I don't have any other choice then you wait for the first character to be generated that is going to take more than round trip time no problem you wait for that time and then you finally send one character in every segment as and when one character comes you send it because uh, you know it is simply waste of time waiting for the full segment or even waiting longer so out of no choice we are sending just one character per segment now uh, let's see about the van if uh, round trip time is the second case is they are saying that round trip time is 100 millisecond first time first in question number a in question a they are saying that round trip time is 20 milliseconds in lan in question b they are saying that round trip time is 100 milliseconds and it is in van and now 100 milliseconds how many characters i could produce so at the rate given i could produce one character so uh, it is good that at least we got one character in one round trip time therefore we are going to send one character so in both both these uh, a and b we are going to send one character only in case uh, let's just extend it in case if uh, round trip time is one second then how many characters i could collect in one round trip time i could have collected 10 characters isn't it then in this case a segment will contain 10 characters in case if the round trip time is more therefore nagel's algorithm give better performance whenever we are having round trip time as more and whenever the application is sending us more data I mean at a higher rate but anyways in in both the cases a and b we are sending only one character per second okay one character per segment not per second so every segment is going to carry one character and for that 20 characters of uh, header i mean 20 bytes of header has to be added at transport layer and again 20 bytes of header has to be added at network layer and again data link layer header just for one character and again for that one character we are going to get the acknowledgement there is no cure for that if the sender is so slow even after waiting for so long we are not we are helpless that is why we are going for this less efficiency right fine